This is crazy. This is the challenge video, challenge number one, uh, where an author chooses a sort of sexy scene from their book and they read it while sucking helium. So I have my, I have my balloon. It's in a bag so it doesn't just float away. And I have selected a very small scene from my commander. It's got to be one of my one of my favorite scenes. Um, it's when Marin is confronting Aiden at the very beginning of the book, and um, she has to climb up on top of the table to get eye level with him. Um, so, without further ado, let me let me get my helium. Hope this thing just doesn't pop. I haven't done something like this since I was a kid. <laughs> One, two. Okay. Don't you dare tell me what to do. I'm a grown woman, and if I want to look at naked men, I will. She knew she was screeching, but couldn't help it. This man drove her nuts. You want to look at naked men? Start with me. Aiden whipped off his shirt and stood in front of her, his hands on his hips. All coherent thought flew from her mind. Marin felt her IQ dropping along with her eyes as she took in every single inch of him. The man was a work of art. Never before had she seen something so perfect. <laughs> he was built, but not bulky. His muscles had definition, and she appreciated every dip and ridge. Her eyes moved down his body, and the view got only better. Mentally, she traced each rigid valley that made up his eight-pack. Her eyes followed the smattering dark hairs down until she was looking at where his pants began. She couldn't help her physical reaction to him if she tried. Groaning, he pulled her off the table and into his arms. His lips found hers, and her world changed forever. She had never felt such need. Such urgency as she did when his tongue twined hers. It was as if he was inhaling her, absorbing every breath and drop of sweat. He fed her lips as if he were dying, and she was his last meal. Vaguely, she was aware of everyone quietly leaving the kitchen, but she didn't care. All she wanted was this man forever. She had gone her entire life without experiencing this drowning need, and now that she had, she would never let it go. It was as if her body was coming alive for the first time under his touch. She wrapped her legs around his waist and practically climbed up his body. She buried her hands in <laughs> his hair and allowed him to dominate her mouth. He pulled away and she whimpered. His lips traced her ear and her breath caught. When his soft lips trailed down the slope of her neck, she moaned. He pulled away again, and she noticed that his eyes were different now. They were no longer a bright blue, but an unreadable black. She had tensed. She tensed. She had forgotten that he wasn't human. The black eyes were eerie, and she was trying not to be afraid, but it wasn't something a person could ac actually control. He must have noticed the change in her ardor because he blinked and closed his eyes. Pulling her close, he buried his face in her neck. Don't be afraid of me. Not me. We may have had a rocky start, but I would never hurt you. Never, he whispered harshly. It was his desperate request that swayed her. It touched her very soul. It was filled with a raw sense of loneliness that she understood all too well. In that moment, she knew that she would never be afraid of him again. Hesitant at first, she wrapped her arms around his head and stroked his hair. A shudder went through his body and his arms tightened. Okay. So I'm out of helium. And I still sound like a munchkin. Um, I, like I said, I will be tagging L Boone and Caitlin O'Leary to take part in this challenge. Uh, if anybody else wants to partake, more than welcome. It was a lot more fun than I thought. 
Um, and if you like this video and you want to see more of it, give it a thumbs up. And I welcome your comments down below. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time.